Imagine this. What if the Big Bang wasn't the grand opening of our universe's story, but just one chapter in an endless cosmic saga? A groundbreaking idea known as bouncing cosmology suggests that the universe might not have had a singular beginning. Instead, it could be locked in an infinite cycle of expansion and contraction, like a cosmic heartbeat. This theory isn't just another outlandish concept from the far reaches of theoretical physics. It could be the key to unlocking some of the most perplexing mysteries in astrophysics, such as the elusive nature of dark matter and the origins of black holes. Intrigued? Let's dive into this fascinating theory, exploring how it challenges our understanding of the universe and what it could mean for the future of science. For decades, the Big Bang Theory has been the reigning champion of cosmological models. According to this idea, the universe began as an unimaginably hot and dense point that exploded outwards, leading to the vast, expanding cosmos we see today. But as successful as the Big Bang Theory has been in explaining a lot about our universe, it leaves us with some uncomfortable questions. For instance, what caused the Big Bang? Why is the universe so uniform on such a large scale? And what happens if we rewind the clock all the way back to that initial singularity? Can physics even describe such a state? Enter bouncing cosmology, a theory that flips the script. Instead of a universe that starts with a bang and just keeps expanding, bouncing cosmology suggests that the universe goes through cycles. First, it contracts, shrinking down to a highly dense state. But instead of collapsing into a singularity, a point of infinite density where the laws of physics break down, quantum effects cause it to bounce back into an expansion phase. This bounce triggers the birth of a new universe, with the process potentially repeating infinitely. In this cyclical model, what we've traditionally called the Big Bang isn't the beginning of everything. It's just a transition between two phases of a much larger ongoing process. This idea is revolutionary because it circumvents the troubling notion of a singular beginning. It also implies that the universe's history is far richer and more complex than we currently understand, with past cycles potentially influencing the physics of the cosmos we observe today. So, why should we care about this idea of a bouncing universe? For starters, it offers a way to address some of the limitations of the Big Bang model. The Big Bang theory does an excellent job of explaining the observable expansion of the universe and the cosmic microwave background, CMB, that faint glow left over from the early universe but it struggles with the concept of the initial singularity and doesn't fully explain why the universe is so smooth and uniform on a large scale. Bouncing cosmology, on the other hand, suggests that the universe's current state is just one phase in an infinite series of expansions and contractions. This idea not only bypasses the problematic beginning of time, but also hints that the laws of physics we observe today may have been shaped by events in a previous cosmic cycle. In other words, the seeds of galaxies, stars, and planets we see around us today might have been sown long before our universe's current expansion phase began, passed down like cosmic heirlooms from one cycle to the next. One of the key ideas in bouncing cosmology is the concept of a non-singular bounce. In the Big Bang model, everything starts from a singularity, a point where density becomes infinite, and the laws of physics as we know them cease to function. But in bouncing cosmology, something quite different happens. As the universe contracts and reaches an extremely dense state, quantum gravitational effects kick in. These effects prevent the universe from collapsing into a singularity. Instead, they cause the universe to bounce back, initiating a new phase of expansion. Think of it like a cosmic trampoline. As the universe falls inward during contraction, it hits a springy quantum surface that propels it back out into expansion. This non-singular bounce is crucial because it means that the universe never reaches a state where the laws of physics break down completely. Instead, the universe smoothly transitions from contraction to expansion, maintaining a continuous, albeit cyclical, history. What we've been calling the Big Bang is, in this view, just a transformation, a bounce from a previous contraction phase to our current expanding universe. Now, let's talk about one of the most tantalizing aspects of bouncing cosmology, its potential explanation for dark matter. Dark matter is one of the greatest mysteries in modern physics. We know it's out there because we can observe its gravitational effects on visible matter and the cosmic microwave background, but it's invisible. 
It doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it incredibly hard to detect directly. Traditionally, scientists have theorized that dark matter might be made up of exotic particles, like WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. But bouncing cosmology offers an entirely different possibility. What if dark matter is composed of primordial black holes, PBHs, formed during a previous contraction phase of the universe? Here's how it might work. During the universe's contraction phase, conditions would have been extreme, with incredibly high densities and, and temperatures. These conditions could have led to tiny fluctuations in density, causing some regions to collapse into black holes almost immediately after the bounce, when the universe began expanding again. These primordial black holes could vary greatly in size, from subatomic particles to several times the mass of the Sun. What makes these primordial black holes particularly interesting as dark matter candidates is their potential stability. If they're massive enough, they could survive the effects of Hawking radiation, theoretical radiation that causes black holes to lose mass over time, and persist to this day. These ancient black holes could be scattered throughout the universe, creating the gravitational effects we attribute to dark matter. This hypothesis is especially exciting because it connects two major areas of modern physics, cosmology and black hole physics. If dark matter does turn out to be made of primordial black holes, it would not only solve the dark matter puzzle, but also lend strong support to the bouncing cosmology model. It would suggest that the origins of both dark matter and the universe itself are deeply intertwined and far more complex than we've ever imagined. So how can we test this mind-bending theory? The answer lies in one of the most exciting areas of modern astrophysics, gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time, caused by massive cosmic events like the collision of black holes or neutron stars. They offer a new way to observe the universe, allowing us to detect events that are otherwise invisible. According to Bouncing Cosmology, the formation of primordial black holes during a contraction phase would have generated a unique spectrum of gravitational waves. These waves would be distinct from those predicted by standard cosmological models, providing a potential fingerprint of the bouncing universe. Next-generation gravitational wave observatories, such as the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, and the Einstein Telescope, are being designed to detect these subtle signals. Unlike current ground-based observatories like LIGO and Virgo, which are primarily sensitive to high-frequency gravitational waves, from relatively recent cosmic events, LISA and the Einstein Telescope will be able to detect low-frequency waves. These low-frequency gravitational waves are believed to have originated from much earlier in the universe's history, potentially dating back to the time of the bounce itself. If we can detect these specific gravitational waves, it would be transformative. Not only would it provide direct observational evidence supporting the bouncing cosmology model, but it could also confirm the existence of primordial black holes as dark matter. Such a discovery would challenge the current inflationary paradigm and offer a new understanding of the universe's structure and origins. It could even help bridge the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity, two pillars of modern physics that don't always play nicely together in the sandbox of theoretical science. Scientists aren't just sitting around waiting for these discoveries to fall into their laps. Research in this area is advancing rapidly, with scientists developing new models and simulations to better understand how primordial black holes could form and persist over billions of years. They're also scouring data from existing gravitational wave detectors, hunting for any signs of these primordial signals. While some intriguing candidates have been identified, more data and more sensitive instruments are needed to confirm these findings. The race is on to build the next generation of gravitational wave observatories and analyze the vast amounts of data they will produce. If these efforts succeed, we could be on the verge of a revolution in our understanding of the universe. So, what does all this mean for our understanding of the universe? If bouncing cosmology is correct, it could fundamentally change the way we think about the cosmos. It would suggest that the universe is not a one-time event, but part of an eternal cycle with each bounce carrying forward the imprints of the past. The implications are profound. The universe we see today might be shaped by events from a previous cosmic cycle, and the seeds of future universes might be sown in the current one. 
This perspective also hints at a deeper interconnectedness within the universe, where everything from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies is part of a grand, cyclical process. It's a humbling thought, one that challenges our notions of time, space, and existence itself. As we continue to explore these ideas, bouncing cosmology could provide answers to some of the biggest questions in science. It could explain the origins of dark matter, the nature of black holes, and the fundamental structure of the universe. And as we build more advanced tools to observe the cosmos, we may find that the story of our universe is far richer and more complex than we ever imagined. So, as we look up at the stars, we might start to see them not just as distant points of light, but as part of an ongoing cosmic dance, one that has been going on for eons and will continue for eons more. The universe, it seems, is not just expanding, it's bouncing, cycling through phases of contraction and expansion, creating and recreating itself in an eternal loop. And who knows, maybe one day we'll uncover the secrets of this cosmic dance and finally understand the true nature of the universe we call home. Until then, the search continues, and the cosmos beckons us to keep exploring.